I was wondering why I wasn't getting listings, and then I was like, oh yeah, it's because I'm not f***ing my boss. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel so you're always up to date on all things reality TV. I'm Zachary Reality, and today we are going to be talking about the new season, season five of Selling Sunset on Netflix. Uh, the long-awaited season five. Season four was aired about like six or seven months ago, but we know that they filmed the seasons back to back. I think they probably had like a two or three week vacation in between filming seasons four and five, because I remember at the finale of last season on season four, Heather had like a flight to go to, and then Christine was saying that she was in Italy. And then of course we caught up with the crew, Chriselle, Jason, Amanza, when they were all in Greece. So I think there was a little bit of a break, but either way, it was back-to-back -back filming, so it was a lot of drama and a lot of tea. I am so obsessed with Selling Sunset. It's one of my favorite reality shows. It's a little different because I don't know if there's as much hype around it because it's not like a dating show. I feel like Netflix dating shows have been really in right now, like The Ultimatum, Love is Blind, but Selling Sunset always delivers and the ladies are just so fabulous. So today we're going to be breaking down episodes one, two, three on Netflix. So if you haven't seen them yet, spoiler warning, but I also want to preference that I have not seen the rest of the season. I've only seen the first three episodes, so my predictions, you guys might already know what goes down, but I don't know how the rest of the season unfolds, but I cannot wait to keep watching, so I have to put this video out there with all of my thoughts so then I can continue on with the rest of the season. And one thing we also know is that the reunion was filmed this weekend, which is so crazy because in the first time of Selling Sunset history, the reunion is happening. They've never had a reunion before. So it's going to be nice to see all of the girls and Christine like confront their issues head on with like a mediator because there has been a lot of lies and two sides to every story so I'm hoping that the reunion kind of clears things up because I'm kind of confused on a lot of different things now this season we have all of the girls versus Christine again I mean where else are we gonna be? It wouldn't be a show if all of the girls weren't nitpicking and making Christine the villain, but also Christine is doing a lot of things behind the castmates' backs. It seems like a lot of the things people are angry about are things that are happening off camera and like things that Christine leaks to the press or kind of, you know, opens her mouth too much about, like gives her two cents. So it's kind of hard when you're watching the show and you're like, what is Christine doing? She's just showing up, she's being nice, they're ignoring her. I guess like the major issue is that Christine hasn't like taken full accountability and apologized to the rest of the ladies, which is why they're still holding things over her. Because this doesn't really seem like a bitter group of girls. I mean, Emma, Chriselle, Mary, I feel like they want to make things work. It's just that they have this like hunch on their shoulder with Christine. And until she gives them what they want, which is like a formal apology, which she's, I guess she's really never done, then how are they gonna be able to move on? But another season with all of the girls versus Christine, of course they have to bring in a new cast member, a new lady to the Oppenheim group because Christine needs an ally and Vanessa just did not deliver last season I felt like she was working overtime like going back and forth because she just got thrown into the drama without knowing anybody but this season so far Vanessa it seems like she kind of did her job and we just don't really need her on the show anymore but I mean hey great background character keep her in there she's nice she's not really like involved too much but Christine's new ally this season is Chelsea the black British Barbie herself from Manhattan Beach I like Chelsea a lot I think she has has more in common with Christine, which is great for her as an ally. They're both so fabulous. I'm interested in Chelsea. It seems like she really wants to work at the Oppenheim group, so I don't know if that's, like, really a goal of hers or if it's just, like, the storyline of the show. We know from Christine's social media that there's 5,000 fake storylines this season, so maybe this is one of them, but the connection between Chelsea and Jason seemed a little bit like a stretch, but welcome to the group, Chelsea. You're fabulous. I can't wait to see her start interacting with the other ladies when she gets to the Oppenheim group. It's, right now, we've only seen her and Christine, and they're like besties, and I'm loving their scenes. I'm loving how fabulous they are. All of the ladies just look so fabulous. The outfits are always so fabulous. Now, moving on to Chriselle and Jason. I mean, I love that they're in Greece. There was this one fight I wanted to touch on between Brett and Jason, and then Amanda chimed in in Greece when they were talking about relationships for a long time, Romaine, Jason, and Amanda, and then Brett and his girlfriend were like, 
to the side and they were uh, upset or Brett was upset that he wasn't engaging with the conversation or he felt like he was being ignored. I was totally team Amanza. That was a very relatable fight. I feel like that happens a lot where you get in conversation with someone and then you forget that everyone else is there. But I liked how Amanza was like, chime in, chime in. And I was just like, Brett, calm down, like chime in or get out of here. I don't know. It was a really relatable fight, but I love seeing Chriselle and Jason's relationship. It does seem a little awkward. I don't know if they're real or fake. I don't really feel like Jason is the type of guy that would get in a relationship if it wasn't real, just because he's always been this playboy that everyone's talked about. And him and Chriselle are cute together. It seems like they're really close friends. And when you hang out with your friends and they're all couples, like no wonder they naturally gravitated towards each other. It's definitely helping Chriselle around the office. But I'm interested to see how their relationship plays out and what comes from it, because we know they ended up breaking up because she wanted a kid and he didn't. However, the first few episodes, you know, everyone was talking about the fact that Jason was ready to be a father and he was talking about it. So I wonder when that switched for him and how that relationship went south because it seems like they're really vibing right now. And I love watching rich people on reality TV because that villa that they rented in Greece is insane. Also, when did Mary and Romaine get married? I had no idea that they were married. Did they have like a low-key wedding? I must have missed that. Romaine is super attractive. There is this huge age difference and disconnect with Mary and Romaine. However, they've been together for four years, so they seem to be a really solid couple. And I really like Mary. I ran into her at Neon Carnival in Coachella last weekend, and I thought she was so nice and cool. So I'm glad that she got the management position, and I can't wait to see her lunch and sit down with Christine. Hopefully they can get to a better place, because now that Mary's the manager, she's going to have to kind of figure things out with Christine, who does not need to be working at the Oppenheim Group anymore. I don't even know if she still works there or if it's just for the show. I think Christine is so important on the show because she's the villain, because she's the drama. But I mean, I don't remember the last time she sold a house. She's not involved in Oppenheim Group, it seems like. She's very disconnected from the rest of the ladies. Is she even selling homes? Seems like she has a lot more business ventures going on outside of the O Group. So I wouldn't be surprised if she didn't work there. I feel like it would make sense if they just fired her for the show because it's just like she's really not doing anything but she could still be on the show if she doesn't work at the Oppenheim group I mean Chelsea she doesn't really work there either or not yet and she's been filming scenes so I don't really feel like she needs to be working at the O group but I guess that's what keeps her in the group and when we saw her go into the office I didn't feel like she was being like too much ignored it was kind of like the same thing with Amanda and Brett like Christine I know she tried to chime in but maybe if she tried a little bit harder to chime in and a couple of the girls just made a little bit more of an effort to include her in the conversation, then we could move forward and, you know, try and get her back into the group. But I totally understand why she was upset when they're talking about Heather's bridal shower and Christine is the one person not invited. I really enjoy Heather. I think she's funny. I think that she's all about Tarek and all about their wedding this season. It seems like Heather is so busy. Fun fact is that one of Heather's assistants is actually Christine's sister. She helped me plan a trip with my husband um, years ago, and that's yeah. when Christine and I were still close, and yeah, just don't talk about personal things like, yeah. on that level. Like, it's, you know, okay. I mean, she's like my family, but we're, it's work for us, and yeah. she manages my schedule and my life, and, you yeah. know, that's it. We don't talk about her sister. Super random, but I don't know how they can make that work, to be completely honest. I feel like that would be just so awkward, but I guess they keep it professional, like Heather said her bridal shower it looked beautiful I understand why she didn't invite Christine because that's such an intimate moment but here's the thing the flowers and the roses we got to talk about it because I thought it was a nice gesture of Christine I thought you know she obviously wanted to do something for Heather to let her know that she still cares. So it's like, why question a good deed? I know a lot of the girls are like, well, that's not genuine. That's not genuine. Well, we're on reality TV. So of course, you know, half the things are not going to be genuine. But it's just like, why question someone's good gesture, especially if it wasn't a gift for you? That's a conversation that needs to be had between Heather and Christine. So Emma and all the other girls chiming in being like, oh, she just wanted her presence known. She did it for the wrong reasons. Like, why question someone that's buying you a a nice rose heart platter for your bridal shower. Take the gift and say thank you. Okay? So I'm, I'm kind of team Christine on that. However, like, watching the season, I'm trying not to take sides because I do see both sides. I see a lot of the girls' logistical points with Christine, but I also love Christine and I really enjoy her. Um, but I feel like I, there's a different side of her on the show. I don't know if she's really like that in real life or on social media. She seems a lot more like a cool girl. So it's frustrating when someone you really like, you know, is fighting with the rest of the girls, but hopefully they're able to solve things. I mean, they definitely are going to have to talk things out at the reunion because that's where 
where they'll be forced to talk things out. Now, before we kind of wrap things up, I want to talk a little bit about Emma because she is really showing her personality a lot more this season. She's fabulous. She's confident. Of course, she has a hot guy on speed dial at all times. I'm really into her and Micah. I've been watching some interviews of Emma post-show. It doesn't seem like her and Micah really have gotten too far in their relationship. It seems like they're still talking and they're not exclusive. I think that Micah needs to just wife Emma up. Emma needs a man. She needs babies. She needs all of that. All of her friends are already coupled up. So, I mean, I think that's also why Emma and Chriselle get along so well, because they're like the two single girls in the group, while the rest of them are like in relationships and married, and Vanessa's engaged. Chelsea's married. But I really like Micah for Emma, and I like seeing Emma's personality. She's a little bit more fun and free this season, and I'm really interested in her feud with Christine and where that goes this season. So, of course... I will be watching and reporting back in a couple of days with my analysis and my thoughts on the rest of the season. So be sure to let me know your thoughts on Selling Sunset Season 5, Episodes 1 through 3. And if you guys have watched the rest of the season, feel free to leave some teasers in the comments and I'll be catching up with you guys in the next few days. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you guys go. And thank you so much for watching and we'll be back with more Selling Sunset videos very, very shortly. Bye!